And I'm not saying that arranged marriages is forbidden in Islam. Arranged marriage is halal in Islam. But the only condition about arranged marriages, if you want to go on that path, there's several ways, Yani. But one of them, if the all culture says arranged marriages, the only condition about arranged marriages in Islam is that once it comes time to marry them, both the girl and the boy have a right, 100% right, with no compulsion, to say no, I don't want this marriage. And the parents, it is incumbent upon them. It is compulsory upon them to listen to their children if they don't want to marry them. They can try to convince them, but back off. Back off, subhanAllah. And I just, a woman, at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu she refused to get married. And her father went and complained to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, Ya Rasulullah, my daughter is growing older and she's refusing to marry. What should I do? He said, bring her to me, let me talk to her. When he spoke to her, he asked her why. And she said to him, Ya Rasulullah, I refuse to get married until I know what Allah is going to ask me about my duties towards that man. What do I have to do? I need to know, I need to know what his rights are. She's not even asking about her own rights. Subhanallah. Why? She's asking about what Allah is going to question her because she knows marriage is an act of worship. She fears Allah. Beautiful woman, tabarakallah. And when the Prophet ﷺ told her about the rights, she found herself not ready yet. She said, Ya Rasulullah, I'm not ready to fulfill that yet. I need to go back and think about this. So he said to her father, you can't force her. Leave her until she's ready. Subhanallah. Another woman came to the Prophet Sallallahu said to him, Ya Rasulullah, the hadith is in Sahih Muslim. So she said, Ya Rasulullah, my father forced me to marry this particular man. And I didn't want him. But I had no choice. So Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to her, it's up to you. Either you can stay with him, or if you want, I can divorce you from him. Do you see? And she replied, I'll accept my father's decision and stay with him. So it's an arranged marriage that was forced on her. But she said, I wanted the other women to know that in Islam, women have a right not to be forced into a marriage or their father marrying them off without her consent. One brother said to me, well, actually a few brothers, they, I hear this from my friends who are older and they've got daughters and sons. He, I had a group of brothers who were sitting together talking about this topic and they said, you know, Wallahi, if my son doesn't marry the girl that I choose for him, I will not accept. I said to him, how could you say such a thing? He said, yeah, Islam tells me because I know what's best for him. I go, okay, and what if it didn't work out and he got divorced? He's going to blame you. He said, oh, no, I didn't think about it that way. He said, if you want harm and you can only advise your daughter, advise your son. Those they marry, if it doesn't work out, wallahi, you're going to be the biggest enemy. They're going to say, it's your fault. They'll never listen to you again. It might work. It might not. 